So the Spot Museum was really cool. Everybody was right. It's a really cool place to go. You got to, if you're in D.C., it's something you get to go to. It was neat to see um, all the gadgets they use and the stories of the people who risk their lives to get information to save other people's lives. But it was also a little tiring and we're hungry. So now we're headed to a D.C. icon to get some lunch. Ben's chili was superb, and in fact, uh, we were so hungry that I got zero video of the food. After it came, we just started wolfing it down, but it was really good. And now we're headed over to Arlington Cemetery, walk among the tombstones, and look at those who gave their lives for ours. This house behind me is Arlington House. This was owned by Robert E. Lee's wife's family. She was the daughter of George Custis, who was the adoptive grandson of George Washington. So George Washington Custis, his daughter Mary Custis married Robert E. Lee in the parlor of this house. And this was of course prior to the Civil War. In 1861, when the war started, the, Flea, the Lees fled their home. Uh, the federal government commandeered it or confiscated it. And then about three years later, as the Union began struggling with places to bury the, the, the war dead, they began interring them around Mary Custis's garden up here just over the hill. And that's where the tomb of the Civil War unknown soldiers are buried. And you can see how close the Confederacy was to Washington, D.C. If we'll spin the camera around, right in front of the Lee's house, of Arlington House, that is the Potomac River, that is Washington, D.C.